Alright Landers, so today is currently the 5th of September and with that we have our next 5 stages for the Gates of Oblivion Sankamon Tower. We are back to our usual Sankamon schedule, right? And today is kind of a special day because out of nowhere, this is the last 5 stages. There are no more stages after 150. I'm kind of surprised at the same time, kind of happy that the tower is finally done. I actually really do like the whole idea of a permanent Sankamon Tower. That only has one-time rewards. And I would love to see multiple towers like this. However, as we have seen on the roadmap, we are going to be getting a Senkamon improvement update near the start of the year. And I guess in this case, they're ending the tower on 150 at a good number. Instead of ending it in like three months time at like 170. That's my only reason for why it is ending right now. But since it has officially ended, we now do get a time an overall clear time for these 150 stages that we are going to check at the end of the video. And with that, it now means we are going to be streaming tomorrow, speed running all 150 stages, which is going to take a very long time. But yeah, kind of in a way, end of an era. But let's go ahead and beat these last five stages together. So in this case, stage 146, we are going against squad zero characters and or sorry, Buzz. We only want to bring a hollow character and we do want to have a killer in particular. So in this case, obviously this stage is designed for the new Shinji. I do not have him. However, we do have some other good characters, right? I'm not really sure what character I want to bring. I mean, the only good tech character here. I mean, I guess we have Arpa Kichigo, right? Where is he? Eyes. Oh, oh, we have to go back and... Ah, oh, man, he's sealed, isn't he? Yeah, so when we're doing these stages again, this is going to be very, very long. So um, I guess in this case, let's just bring six anniversary eyes and he's probably our best character to bring here. And you've been watching this series monthly. We've kind of been not using the most optimal character to have a bit of fun because for the most part, if you had Shinji, right? Right, this stage is going to be an absolute cakewalk. So I kind of chose not to use the most optimal meta character for each individual stage, with very few exceptions. However, now I might be regretting that because we're going to have to go back and do every single stage once more. Let's use our backup. Wanted to do my SA2 there, but we had the auto turned on. I mean, going to some max chance to do Damage outputs are right here. Would really love to use this character. With an SP boost. And that might happen next year when he gets resurrected. Alright, so Owetsu is down here on the right. Owetsu is tanky. Oh, we're just not inflicting the status on him. We're not inflicting the status on him. There we go. And we were also not at full stamina too. We lost a bit of damage. So our damage is actually looking good here. We just lost our full stamina for some reason. Couldn't re-inflict it. Re-inflict trade. Going into Ichibei. Uh, do we have an SA2 ready? We're about to be. So let's use our SA2. And then so bomb. So, um, a 40, 36 second clay time. I now care about clay times. Could be faster. Could be faster. But when we do eventually come back to redoing this stage, I'm just going to use up and get you go, which means I have to go back to 75 and, you know, clear him up. Onwards through stage 147. What are we looking at here? Power damage times two. Captain affiliation damage times two. And also paralysis. And we are up against humans. This is going to be a fairly simple stage. Just bring any power captain character. To be fair, besides Soifun, there hasn't been a lot of them released. I mean, then again, all the good ones are already sealed. So you could just use Bankai. Shinji, you could use Safui Kenpachi, Thousand Year Body Yamoto would be a character I know a lot of people are going to use here. In my case, again, now because I care about clear time, I am, for the final video of Gates of Oblivion, going to be using the most optimal character just to get through this super quick, right? Now, I don't have every optimal character for all these stages that have been designed. Like, I know I'm missing uh, Candice, for example, the swimsuit one, and I know she has the stage designed for us, so that might be a som somewhat annoying for our clear time, but I think we'll relatively be fine. Uh, let's so bomb. Ooh, okay, never mind. I forgot we are up against humans. We have to be a tad bit careful with these lob. I mean, damage output is good nonetheless. Orihime is the final boss, so let's go ahead and so bomb. There we go, and then finish up with the EX. Woo! Nice and easy. It's cool. It's fun using Soifan. I like her. She's a fun character. 10 Brace or Summon Tickets. We'll gladly take those. We are going to be doing some Summon Tickets at the end of the video, by the way. Next up, we're breezing through these. Stage 148 wants us to bring character with a Holo Killer. They want to be a her character. And preferably, one half Holo Killer. So, this is designed for the new Kensei. We're not going to be using him. We have some good Holo Killers, right? In this case, I think the best character you can bring is probably Bruno or this particular Ruka. But I believe, yeah, Bruno is sealed at stage 80. So, let's go ahead and use Ruka. She's going to go through this stage relatively easy. Again, I kind of mentioned it last time during my uh, Limit Breaker video. Like, we all know Ruka was a good character. But, like, I've been surprisingly using her a lot. A lot more than I thought I would have. But honestly, she's actually really good. Really, really good. Here we go. This is a lock stage too. So, hopefully, 
I can still use her if I go back and try and do earlier stages. I, I can't remember if the luck does actually stop you from using characters in earlier stages. Or if it's only after where they've been locked. Looks like the map is somewhat weird. Not weird, but like it has a different layout. We kind of saw something similar in the 9th anniversary Zenkama Tower. Where like half of the map is cut off. This one seems quite straightforward. The last time they did that though, it was a bit... A bit weird. I kind of got lost for like a, a brief moment. Let's saw bomb though. <laughs> Giving Ichigo some chocolates, some donuts, and there we go. Stage 148 done in 31 seconds. Could have cleared time a bit faster there, but it's still a decent clear time. I'm kind of nervous to look at my overall clear time. And right, next up, 149. Next up, 149. Killer effect times eight is the only requirement here. And what is the requirement? Sorry, but and stam Does that is there any character that has both of these? Am I forgetting someone? Oh, it's Sergeant. It's Sergeant because it's Captain and also Quincy. Would I even want to use Sergeant? Would, would I be better off just using my best mind character? In this case, Ishin. I think Ishin would be more ideal since they want us to bring Sergeant. Let's go ahead and do it because I just want to see how it's going to play out. I'm, I want to see how it's going to play out. Unfortunately, I don't have a set for a normal attack damage build. My Sergeant is currently 2 out of 5 for those that aren't aware. If you did watch my summons where we, we did 25 steps, I didn't have the best luck. Right? We got one Toshiro, one Soifon, and we had to use the Pity Ticket on Sergeant. But luckily, step 1. 27, so the extra discount. That was my final step on that banner. Uh, I actually did get a duplicate of Sergeant, which I'm very happy about. A duplicate of any of them would have been actually very nice. Let's just give them um, last survival. But I do like Sergeant. I do like Brave Battles. So I didn't mind getting Sergeant 2 out of 5, getting that focus spell. So let's see how much damage we are we doing. Unfortunately, having to put down Genru Sai. What are we looking at here? Decent damage. That's, it's fast enough. It's fast enough. But I feel like for a stage like this with three bosses, you kind of want to clear in 10 seconds. Dodge that. There we go. And I feel like maybe Ishin would be a lot better here. Especially with his damage output. Let's zoop up. Didn't even need to use it, but like, I just love that zoop up. It's one of my favorites in the entire game. So yeah, Sergeant did pretty good there. So yeah, Sergeant did pretty good there. I think the next stage now is going to be designed for Tosha, right? Because it looks like it's designed for part two and three of the anniversary. Kensei, Shinji, Sergeant, Soifon, and then this here is not for Toshiro. Instead, it is for Awetsu, I assume, right? Yeah, no affiliation. So Luckily, it's sorry, but only. That could have been a lot more toxic if it said Squad Zero affiliation only. Unfortunately, if you're not using a Squad Zero character, they're not getting the damage output. But I mean... You have three minutes to beat this stage. Should be relatively simple. Who do I want to bring? A speed character of no affiliation killer? I guess you could just bring Toshiro. In my case, because I have him max transcended, let's just bring Kimpachi. Ninth anniversary Kimpachi. Go the recharge and the sad. And then with that, I guess it's the perfect character to wrap up. And we also got Kimpachi loading screen with the perfect character to wrap up this journey of the stage. Oh, different layout. But 150 stages of Gates of Oblivion. Again, I would love for them to start a new tower. Because imagine a new player starting in the future having like all these extra permanent stages. That'd be really good. But I'm pretty sure it ended in anticipation for the upcoming update. Now we got burnt, so we lost a bit of full stamina, but let's use the top one. Cut that meteor. One shot Ichigo. And there we go. We have beat 150 of the Gate to the Oblivion. And it seems like there was a reward there. I'm actually not sure what that was. I would love for it to be a gold or a platinum medal, but it might have been a silver. And we also, for the final stage, did get 100 Senkamon medals. So, unfortunately, no extra Chad. That's now a big thing, right? Where are we going to be able to get Chads? Because there's no more now. Obviously, we're going to get more. But again, we might be in like a two-month dry period with Senkamon where we don't get anything new. No new stages. No chat available until we do get the update early 2025. My assumption on the new update that we are going to get for Senkamon is keep this tower. Keep it as a permanent one. Again, would love for them to do a new one. Probably just get rid of all these towers. They're quite outdated. Maybe maybe it's good to keep them. I don't know. But I definitely expect a new tower, new rewards, new Senkamon character, new updated summon ticket. 
on the extreme tower. I wouldn't be surprised if they combine them all, especially this one. Like, there's no need for us to have, like, all these extra Senkimon towers. Just give us one tower and let us pick any Senkimon character you want, right? It'd also be nice if they can speed up the process to acquire these characters, because as a new player, it takes, like, five months to get done with one tower. And over at this point, it's gonna take 20 months for you to get all the Senkimon characters, and then maybe even longer if they add more characters. Either way, now that we've officially beaten Gates of Oblivion, let's check what the clear time is looking like. It's going to be in the hour, isn't it? An hour and 35 minutes. Oh, no. And now it's actually, like, brought a lot more up instead of being right at the bottom. An hour and 35. Good Lord. We're going to we're gonna be here for a long time during tomorrow's Sankamon stream. It might be more than four hours, maybe five hours. Who actually knows? I'm going to have to start streaming early. That is outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. I didn't think it ended. Like, the whole point of the Sankamon tower was that it would just keep going. Uh, but I'm excited to try it again. Excited to speed run it nonetheless, but for those that did stick around to the end of the video, let's do some summons. So first up, we have step six of the free brave soul seasonal multis. Would love to get something here. If we see beef, if we see free bird flights, it's looking good. Unfortunately, it's not looking good. It is not looking good. That's fine. That's a cooldown. It's a warm up because I've actually not yet done this 50 orb multi on the 95 million download celebration banner. The mana itself isn't really the greatest, but there is some good potential duplicates I can get here. It should go if I get him, he will be 5-5. Renji duplicates would be great. Likewise, we just spoke about Valentine's Ruriko, would love to get her. And then also Grimjow would be a new character, so that would be absolutely amazing. 50 old multi, so why not? But it is a 3% pull rate, so chances are we might be getting shafted. But one would hope, and unfortunately, our hope went to nothing because one butterfly, not a good sign. Not a good sign. With that said, do we have any summon tickets for today's video? We just got 100 Brave Soul summon tickets and 40 golden ones. Let me see if I can get some golden ones from the exchange shops. All right, then. So here we go. Let's go ahead and do our 50, 4, and 5-star summon tickets. Not really sure why I wanted any duplicates of Mugetsu. Never mind. <laughs> Damn. It always, it always hurts seeing that because it just comes back. It's just like an absolute jump scare. No animation, just straight golden lights. Well, like I was saying, I would love a duplicate of Mugetsu, the 9th anniversary renewed version. It'd be cool to get the 9th anniversary compatible in Grammy, but like, I don't want to see them because I got them both max transcended. Uh, Bernie Nuke out would be great, and Eisen Fake out would be great. There we go. There we go. Any new character, any good dupe, I'll glide take, and we'll get in. Ten says I'm get to. I recently just got him from a summon ticket like last week, and I think he's now 5 5, or he's already 5 5. Next one Zapro, not what you want to see. I mean, I guess it's a somewhat recent premium character, so it's not too bad. And then our potential final one Nage. Okay. okay, we'll take it. It's not too bad. He's not 5 5. Uh, is there a potential fourth? Let's find out. Oh. We got a Toshiro. It's not a good one. Decent link. Maybe not Max Transcended just yet. Can we get a fifth? Yes, we can. <laughs> yes, we can. We got a... We got a Noitora. Can we get a six? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's Chad, right? I mean, there's a lot of Transcendence points. Can we get a seven? Oh, my God. <laughs> What's going on? I mean, it's, at this point, it's quantity over quality. We've only got like one good duplicate. Can we get eight? Ah, uh, seven is crazy though. Seven is crazy. We'll take that. Wow. If anything, maybe that's a decent way to wrap up the, the series. And yeah, he is actually 5-5. Five, five, so I guess I'll reroll that for a six slot later on. But yeah, there you have it, lads. That was the video for today. Gates of Oblivion is now officially done. And for the most part, this is going to be the last time we do talk about it in a video for the most part. We are, of course, going to be streaming tomorrow, speed running it on my main account. That might take a few streams, I will be honest. And then we're also going to finish up the tower on my second account because I've yet to actually do that. Again, I believe this is in anticipation of the upcoming Senkamon improvement update that we are going to get late 2024, early 2025. So I'm excited to see where this is going to take us. Either way, hope you liked the video. See you guys next time. Take care and peace.